Hello everybody and welcome back once again to the Dragon Quest 4 Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. We're in the town of Bath. Bath, that's right. Somebody named the town Bath. Maybe because there's a hot springs here. I don't know. It's dumb. You dirty, dirty man. We're gonna go talk to him. Oh, don't look. I was just about to get in the bath, you dirty old man. Well... We're not the only one who, <laughs> who knows that. I wonder what she would have said if we had uh, Mina or Maya in front. Let's, let's actually mess with that. Let's mess with that. It never fails. I start streaming and somebody calls me. No, I will not answer my phone. No. No. Do you want to come in too? All girls together. We do get different dialogue. Oh my, I've never seen such tiny... I'm sorry, how rude of me. I suppose you took after your father, did you? <laughs> oh, it was totally worth taking the time to do that. Man. Man. Hmm, I took the guided tour to see the famous blood... Bladded's armor, but it didn't look any like anything special to me. In fact, it looked just like some cheap substitute. I wouldn't be surprised if someone had stolen the real armor and put that rubbish in its place. We're just going to ignore the fact that he's... He's a peeper. Whoops. No, get, get in the party. There we go. All right. All right, so this town has two inns. Apparently, it's cheaper to stay in the larger one. Yeah, you want what? 40 gold coins. New. No. However, I will steal this leather shield from your fine establishment. Welcome to Bath, town of Baths. The perfect place for travelers to rest their achy bones after a long time on the road. Nothing, nothing. Totally not robbing the shopkeepers blind. Alas, this star-filled night is too beautiful. It makes me want to write poetry and songs. La 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 la, Torneko with his mighty stride heads off to cross the desert wide. <gasps> Torneko, are we hot on the trail of Torneko Taloon? Shopkeeper Magnifique? I be bladded, I be. The armor I used to wear was called the Zenithian armor. Only some rascals stole any and taken any away somewhere. You must find the travelers and return any to his proper resting place. All right, so we know then that somebody has stolen the Zenithian armor. This is not. This is not it. Saigon looks at the bookshelves. There's a book entitled, My Quest for the Magical Staff, Chapter 1. Saigon takes it from the shelf and reads it. My name is Rowand. People call me Rowand the Wandering Wandsman. I'm a magician from Lakanaba. Not that I live there anymore, of course. No, I left my hometown some time ago. I serve the royal family of Zamoksva nowadays. These memoirs are a personal account of my hunt for a magical staff, something I've been ordered to find by the Tsar. In fact, this is such a personal account of my experiences that I must be careful not to let anyone from Zamoksva lay eyes upon it. We may have to come back here once we get uh, Elena and crew. Which, holy crap, guys. Holy crap. I, I think this comes out before Dragon Quest Heroes. Maybe. Maybe like the day after. But I heard the uh, English voice acting um, in a preview today. It was a uh, Gigantes... Gigantes boss battle that was being shown off on the uh, Dragon Quest YouTube channel, which, by the way, Square Enix, you can do better than that. I know you can do better than that channel. It 
you know, props to the, uh, not public relations, community manager guy who's doing it. But it feels like Square Enix might have just thrown him in the deep end and said good luck. This is just between you and me, but that innkeeper next door is giving me a headache uh, the way he carries on. Mind you, if he didn't try it on like that, I wouldn't mind betting he wouldn't get anyone staying in that ramshackle old hole. There was a fella f here before by the name of Taloon. He was he was doing all right for himself, he was. Oh, I. I? I. I. Hick. I'm gonna take a leaf out of his book. Hick. <laughs> Like, the community manager who's running the channel, he's doing he's doing an okay job, but I just, I really don't feel like Square Enix gave him much direction, aside from, hey, do a video on this. Okay, do a video on this. Alright, good luck. The bath was a great success, see? Look at the old man, snoring like a baby. Have he... The guy is totally a Dragon Quest fan, you can tell, because he talks about, like, how important the characters are in the story, and... <sighs> he, uh, he definitely is interested in the series. I just kind of feel that he wasn't given enough direction, and I, that's like the third time I've said it. I'm just gonna shut up now. I'm gonna stop being so critical of somebody else's channel. Square Enix, you can do better. Their unboxing video is, like, just awkward as hell, too. I will do an unboxing video of my super special collector's edition when that comes in. Don't don't you folks worry. All right, uh, I know we're good up through iron armor. We have iron shields, hardwood headwear. We could definitely use that. That's the only upgrade we need right now. Yes, equip it. Get equipped with. All right, sell this other stuff. Sell the leather hat. A little leather shield. Guess we're good on armor. Are there any weapon upgrades? Ooh, iron fan, maybe? No, iron fan is actually... Okay, alright, there's the poison moth knife. Got the iron lance. Holy lance is already equipped to Mina. We're good. My god, we are so, so prepared! There's a shiny up by that grave. We're going to talk to the item shop guy. Sometimes they sell, but not today. I was going to say, sometimes they have upgrades. Have you seen the armor in the church already? It's amazing! Oh, bladud, brave knight of old, clad in armor that gleamed like gold. In battle, you was knocked out cold. No, it's not good either. I've been trying to make up a song about bladud, but he's not going all that well. I just, I, I jumped like three times between <laughs> dialects. Ooh, seat of strength. Ooh, 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 The hero is pretty much always in the party, which is one reason why I just kind of dump seeds on him. Okay. So we should travel south to Porthronel. 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 South. <laughs> Far to the distant south. I'm in a really good mood today. Despite having come home from work, you know what it might be? It might be because there's absolutely nothing to do today. Like, it was nice. It, normally when it's super quiet at work, everybody's quiet and we're just kind of all bleh. But today, everyone just, we talked to each other. It was nice. Fight wisely. I have no problem with you going new cappy on this group. Lugworms! Kill the lugworms! They're shit. They never win anything. I am, of course, complaining about the monster battles. 
and how the lugworms constantly lose me money. Despite being the safe bet, they never win. Well, that's not true. They've won, like, once. Can I, like, keep wandering up this way? My god. Okay, we're, we're gonna head back to Porthrunnel. Damn, Mina. And then there was one. Alright. Let's head back to town. Go ahead and give it a proper once over. Pteranodon is going to die this turn. Wow, very quickly. He showed up by himself? Guy didn't stand a chance. Hello there, travelers. Traveling, are we? Well, welcome to Porthrunnel, then. Item shop. Anything? No. The design of this town, like the layout, kind of reminds me of the town from 5, where, uh, what's her name, Nina? The blue-haired girl, her father, Mr. something Italian-sounding. It, it reminds me of the layout of that town, except instead of a mansion, we have the ocean. <laughs> Come to see the ships, have you? Them doing some building work in the yard. Ed for that big building out the arbor. My, uh, my confidence in my Cockney accent has dropped significantly since Reggie started handling all the Cockney accents in the Dragon Quest IX Let's Play. That'll be starting in December, by the way. So look forward to that. We have six people playing it. A oh, four-person game, and we have six people playing it. We're basically, like, swapping out teams every time we record. Which is rough when our priest isn't in the team. They found a village over them mountains north of Casabranca that got done over by monsters. Ransacked it was. And folk have been disappearing over the sea in Zamoxva and all. If you ask me, tis all tied up with that Lord of the Underworld coming back to life. That's what I've heard, anyways. Well, you... you wouldn't be wrong. Tiny church... saving... Look at all this money we're probably, like, moments from spending. Uh-oh, weapons shop. Eh. Eh. Eh, meh, meh. Ah! An upgrade. Very nice. Okay. So we could buy the weapon upgrade just right away. Any kind of armor. We're probably broke now, but whatever. Iron armor, no, no, no. Golden tiaras. We want two of these. Fortunately, they are quite cheap. Let's go ahead and get one for Maya right now. And sell her feathered cap, which puts us close to a second golden tiara. Now that's what I call bad timing. There was a hell of a lot of ships sailing out of port not too long back. But the lighthouse out east, the Pharos Beacon, well, it's been overrun by monsters, hasn't it? Ships can't navigate now. Oh, they can navigate without a lighthouse. 
I mean, they might not be coming into port, but they can certainly leave port. Hell, they can still come into port during the day. <clears throat> what can I do for you, then? Oh, who am I trying to kid? I'm in no mood for selling. There ain't no ships sailing at the moment, you see. What a sorry excuse for a port. Right? You guys just kind of gave up. They say there was a holy flame burning at the top of yonder Pharos beacon, but now it's an evil flame that makes all the ships as come sailing by sink to the bottom of the ocean. Tis only just a few days since that Pharos beacon got took over by monsters, you know. But that horrible light's been shining out over the ocean ever since. Tis a beggar of a business. Oh, okay. Is there like some other light that's messing up the ships? Oh boy, Wayfarer's clothes. We can sell that for like 10 gold. Move it, lady. I'm trying to steal your books. There's a book entitled My Quest for the Magical Staff, Chapter 2. Saigon takes it from the shelf and reads it. I am Rowand, the Wandering Wandsman. By the Tsar of Zamoxva's orders, I am traveling the world in search of a magical staff. You may well ask why I am doing such a thing. The short answer is that it seems to be a favorite hobby of the Tsar's. I don't mean to badmouth him, of course. I just can't help worrying that a leader is so absorbed in such frivol frivolity, peacetime or not. But it isn't my place to question him. Duty is duty. And now I must travel west of my hometown to follow up a possible lead. It's been a fruitless search so far. I can only hope that this time I'll find the magical staff I've been charged with locating. Ransacking the inn. Nothing. Nothing. Drinks. Drinks in. Who are you? Hello, my lovers. Off on a sea voyage? How about a map of the world to help you on your way, then? Oh, bother. I was sure I'd had some left, but then they're not here. Wow. That's a bit blooming odd. I don't I don't know what's up with her voice. Don't, don't comment on that. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not comment on that. That's a forbidden room, that one. It's always locked. Anyone who spends the night in there never wakes up in the morning. It's proper scary, it is. Well, I wasn't trying to check it a second time. Doofus. There's a sad old tale about a feller who'd done himself in cause his boat got sunk by the monsters. Alright, dude's boat sank. Was able to translate that for everybody. You're welcome. Don't know where y'all would be without me. Okay, so we could... Go inside and investigate the ships. Well, actually, no. No, that's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll finish up here. We'll end the episode, and then next time we'll go do the Pharaoh speaking. We're good. They say there's some feller down south over the sea who's a wizard of commerce in a place called Mintos or some such snazzy name. Must be a hell of a rich, I suppose, if he's a wizard of commerce. I wouldn't mind a slice of his cake, let me tell you. I like cake too, buddy. Cake's delicious. This here's the dockyard. You're in luck. We'm building a brand new ship at the minute. It'll be finished soon, and he's gonna be a ship and a half, like nothing you've ever seen. <gasps> I really hope they got back Jessica and Yangus' voice actors from DQ8 for Heroes. Oh my gosh, please. They don't know how to do business. They can make as many boats as they like, but it is, no one's going to buy them with that lighthouse as it is. But the brave heroes are now in town, and we're going to fix that lighthouse problem. Air, yeah, where do you think you're off to? There's cargo going through here all the time. You're blocking the path. You're not doing anything. You are literally walking around in a circle, man. By the way, I just smashed up all your cargo. Deal with it. Solo out. I wonder whose ship this is. He must be costing an arm and a leg. More barrels to break. Strength seed. Dump that on Solo as well. Who 
Who's the ship belong to? Can't you see I'm blimmin' busy? That's a question for the governor, not a matey like me. Zen is messaging me. I'm sorry, Zen. You're gonna have to wait a second. I told Mr. Taloon we was cluing up his ship. Twill be ready soon. What's he up to? I hope he ain't been gobbled up by no monsters at the beacon. He's probably off on his way to the beacon. Knowing that Taloon fella. That scamp. Solving people's problems with business. The power of business. It's his superpower. Though honestly, that's probably like... His wife's superpower. My god. The way she can sell things for, like, double their actual value is ridiculous. Especially when there's competition just right across the street. She'll still sell you a copper sword for 200 when you can get it for 100. The Torneco feller said he'd come from some place called Endor, far off to the west. Must be a hard life for his wife and kids back home all on their own. But I suppose you can't do no good as a trader if you don't make a few sacrifices, eh? Well, I thought the point of owning your own shop was so that you wouldn't have to travel anymore. That's what Spice and Wolf taught me. Which I recently started watching and is a wonderful, wonderful show if you're looking for something a little bit more educated as far as your uh, anime is concerned. I have, I have actually had to pause it and go back a couple of times because I lost track of the conversation and was like, wait, what? Because they talk about, like, economy and currency all the time. And there's been a couple of points where it's like, wait, I feel like I missed something important because I don't know where this conversation's going anymore. <laughs> oh, that's why Taloon wants the boat. So he can get the map. It's the map. It's the map. It's the map. It's the map. There's a brand new ship's log book that hasn't been written in yet. I'm in a right tiz, I am. This vessel was commissioned by a feller called Mr. Taloon, but the old fool's completely zamzodden. If tis monsters that are stopping me ship sailing, I'll go and sort them out myself or some such gibberish he was coming out with. Sagan looks at the bookshelves. There don't seem to be any interesting books on the entire shelf. Probably American classics. <laughs> I'm not, not a fan of much classic American literature. Like, some of it's pretty good. But, man, some of it is just, some of it's downright bad. Wow, a ship, a real ship. I've never been on a real ship before. Wah, hey! What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Oops, months said I'm not to sing that, because I'm pretty sure it's about killing somebody. Why can't kids just settle? Is it too much to ask? I can't get a moment's peace, I can't. Man, there's so much exploring to do. We might actually go the full 30 minutes on this episode. There's an old seafarer's tale about a ship carrying stolen goods that got sunk by monsters far over the ocean to the northeast. The story goes that among the cargo, there was some priceless armor with a strange sheen to it. Must still be at the bottom of the ocean now, or else them monsters would have it. Well, crap. And none of my Pokemon no dive. Maybe Maya can learn it. She's already dressed for swimming. I'm not complaining. I'm just, you know, throwing it out there. Inappropriate battle garb. I'm a ship's captain, I am. A captain ain't got no business on dry land. I should be out in the drink. But soon as you're out of the harbor now, some funny light from Pharaoh's beacon whips up a storm like nort you've ever seen. It hasn't long passed that it all started, but it's already a proper pain in the keel. Language? They say there was a princess from Zamoxva on the last ship that sailed out of here to Mintos. I bet she was a proper handsome young maid. I wish I'd seen her. You, you are, you are not wrong. She's amazing. Amazing. I'm, I'm not much into like the whole waifu culture thing, but damn. 
waifu the crap out of Elena. I always wanted to be a seafarer. Way anchor, hard starboard, steersman. I love all that sailor speak. Actually, wait, no, I should, I should, uh, I should qualify that. How old is Elena? <laughs> is she old enough? Is she mature enough? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Anyhow, I think we're done with this episode. I'm going to stop being weird and a little bit creepy. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm your host, Saigon. This is the Dragon Quest IV Let's Play. I'm going to do a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of grinding to get that golden tiara, and I will see you all next time. Not up here. Take care!